You know, the engine oil is like the blood to your turbocharger, and the pressure is like the pulse from your heartbeat. Too low of a pressure, and you die. Too high of a pressure, you also die. So we often get asked, how's that work? How does this work? What's that do? So I'm here to show you what an OPR does. Come with me, we'll get one off the shelf. So here I've got one of our black OPR 40 oil pressure regulators. So an oil pressure regulator is just that. It regulates oil pressure to your turbocharger reason why we chose 40 psi as the base pressure is because it works with most of the aftermarket turbochargers out there. Here's the OPR 40. Just remember that it is set at 40 psi from factory so that there's no need to adjust this at all. As you can see here at the front, there's a 1.8 MPT port planked off from the factory, but you can take that out, put a pressure gauge in, or you can put a uh, pressure sensor that can go to your data logger or ECU. These ports are Dash 4 AN style, so you can choose your favourite fitting, whether that's 90 degrees or flare or whatever, it's up to you on your build. The other port is also Dash 4 AN. So here are some examples of some fittings. These are sold separately, but as you can see, they just screw in, and then you can either go straight or left or right, or however you need to run it. We also include the bracket with the circlip for mounting. So the OPR, how did we come up with it? Why did we think about creating a product like that? Well, it actually starts with this car you see right here. When we turned this into a R&D vehicle, what we did was we, of course, turbocharged it. When we turbocharged it, we, we noticed that when we started the engine up, we had a whole bunch of smoke come out the exhaust pipe and thought that maybe we've got a blown turbo. So we decided to change turbos, put a new turbo on and had the same problem. After a bit of fault analysis, we realized that the pressure, the oil pressure out of this engine is actually extremely high and it varies from cold start to being warm. After reading the instruction manual of the turbocharger, we found that the oil pressure had to be a lot lower than what the engine was producing. So then we investigated on, well, how does the market currently control oil pressure to the turbocharger? And we found that the most common method was using little inlet restrictors in the lines. And then we thought to ourselves, well, how do we know what size restrictor we should use um, and where do we get them? How easy it is to get these things. What we did was then we jigged up a fuel pressure regulator in the turbo line so that we could actually back off the oil pressure and found that as soon as we installed that, all the smoke went away. Then we thought to ourselves, in the market, there's no need for adjustment. We can target a pressure that is common to most turbochargers. We also didn't need to worry about flow. We didn't need to worry about massive fitting because most turbochargers use small dash three to dash four fittings. So we decided to create a small, easy to use, no fuss product that would sort out the oiling issues to turbochargers. And that's how the OPR started. The OPR can be considered inexpensive insurance on your turbocharger, so it lives a long and flowing life. So a few scenarios where you need an OPR. One, you're turbocharging a naturally aspirated engine. You've upgraded the oil pump. change to an aftermarket turbo or you see smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. 
So the OPR is fairly into, easy to install. As you can see here, we've got a feed line that comes from the engine into one side of the OPR, and on the other side goes to the turbocharger. We've got ours returning directly into an adapter we made for the oil filler cap. And ours has a sensor plugged in that sends information to our data logger just in case we see a problem with the oil pressure going to the turbocharger. So our FC has a slightly different setup. As you can see here, we've still got the feed from the engine into one side of the OPR and the other side goes to the turbocharger over there. However, on this car, We've drilled and tapped a new hole for the return straight into the sump. And we've also got a pressure gauge as well as a pressure sensor monitoring the oil pressure. So once you finish installing it, check for leaks, make sure the oil pressure going to the turbocharger is correct and that the engine oil pressure is also correct. For more information, check out our Facebook page, visit us on Instagram, or just reach out to us. And remember, keep on building.